Welcome to Turning Tuesday, Bandsaw Edition. This week I'm doing bulk prep. I've created four different styles of pen blanks, which I'm going to ask for some community feedback on. So during the video, if you see a section asking for feedback, please jump in the comments and let me know what you think. Starting off here, just getting the measurement so that I can get a little bit of wiggle space so that if I drill it out and it creates some blowout during the drilling process, everything is still going to work. Beautiful piece of Tasmanian oak with the sap inclusion. The second one there is a piece of Mali Burl. This one is Claret Ash from Canberra. This is some Black Heart Sassafras. a piece of bolly gum and now I'm just gonna buzz through some quick ones so this style of pen is for the elegant beauty you may have remembered in one of my earlier videos had a mahogany version of that pen in the coming weeks I'm going to have a river she oak video here's a piece of river she oak now this river she oak came from Mudgee. It's a beautiful piece of wood and it's got absolutely gorgeous lace. The pieces that I'm cutting up with pens are Offcuts from bowl blanks. You may notice them on the far right hand side of the screen. A couple of nice big salad bowl blanks. Now, as I hadn't cut this one down to size, I'm just using another blank as a sizing guide. Here we are. This is one of those offcuts. I would like community input on this. I'm going to fill it with resin. Is there a color that you think might go well with this? Leave your comments below. While you're at it, please like and subscribe. You may have noticed I grabbed the lock on the guide. I felt a little bit of a drift while I was doing it. I'm just holding it up. You might see the lace in there as well as a bit of chatoyance. It's absolutely stunning wood.
This week's PSA, be careful. Make sure you get your hands clear if a situation gets out of hand, just like that. Better yet, don't put yourself in that position. So I was cutting down some pieces that were a bit too long or not the right shape. Now I'm setting the measurement for the bolter action pen body. You may notice I've got some purple heart in there. I've got some she oak. I've got some Tasmanian oak. I've also got some Canberra claret ash. Uh, one here I'm about to pick up. I'm not entirely sure what it is. It's some form of eucalypt. Just not entirely sure what it is. It's got a beautiful sap inclusion down the middle of it. You can see it over there with the number four on it. Just picking it up now. Maybe a spotted gum. Cutting some of the longer pieces for the fountain pen and roller ball pen now. These are the ones with the lids, so these will get a couple of different cuts to get the blank down to size. You'll notice here that I'm putting the brass barrel up against some of this claret ash. I'm just trying to figure out if I can actually use it or not. Um, there's a lot of bark inclusion there. Bark inclusion doesn't usually hold on. I suspect with a CA finish it might, but that's if it survives the drilling process at all. As I said, these are for top and bottom, so I'm putting a T and a P. I should have put an L for the lid and the pen body, but I did T and P. And what I'm doing is making a line across the center to indicate which way is the center, because that means I can guarantee that the grain will line up at the end. And I got bored, so I decided to do multiple at the same time. Worked out fine. All right, you may notice those ones still on the table are a little bit long. So I'm setting the length on the back end of the blanks now. And I'll quickly buzz through them. You may notice my placement here. It looks a little sketchy. 
but my left hand on the side of that blade is pushing towards the fence. It is not pushing towards the blade. On the right hand side, it is pulling away from the blade. This one's nice and warped. Not entirely sure how that one's going to come out. Depends that I'm doing now. Uh, seven millimeters, so they're for the broad bodies. I'm going, so all of these woods are Australian hardwoods. We've got the myrtle up there, we've got some black heart sassafras, we've got some burl, we've got some red gum. That red gum's actually a previous piece of firewood. I stole it from the in law's farm. And there's a piece of silky oak sitting in there as well. This is a really good example of why I try and line up those centers. The red line that's going through that silky oak lining up perfectly there. It becomes very obvious on the black heart sassafras when I put it together in a second. It adds to a layer of professionalism and quality so that people can enjoy their pens if it flows the whole way through. It's the fine touches that I really appreciate. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And definitely please tell me what colour you think I should epoxy fill the piece of she oak off cut i'm very excited to turn that into a piece of art so please leave a comment like and subscribe